Walkie Talkie with the Kitty Sisters. Hello, hey sister. How are you, Paul? I'm good. It's been a long time no see. What I mean, <laughs> not really. I mean, <laughs> long time haven't spent um, days like this together. Yeah. So we're excited. Are you excited about our hike today? Yeah. So where are we going? <laughs> so we're gonna go hiking during the middle of the week. Yes, work week. We can do that. Um, we haven't been hiking in so long. I mean, I haven't see, feel like I haven't seen you forever. I mean, you've been on your trip, I've been on my trip. Yeah. So we haven't really had time to spend time talking to each other. Like yeah, I think it's really important because like every time we go on these hikes, we always get epiphanies from it. And so business, personal health, <laughs> mental health, financial, everything, it just kind of comes together for us. Yeah, I think that I believe in like, you know, like this kind of balanced life yeah. instead of just like keep grinding away and stuff like that. And you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. Like every time when people see me, they're like, wait, what? You don't always hang out with your sister? And I'm like, no, I don't like contrary, her that much. Contrary to like popular relief, that much. Contrary to popular relief, we are not Siamese twins. <laughs> we're Siamese, we're Thai, we're si we're from the land of Sayang, but we're not Siamese twins, so yeah. I'm just like, no, like, I don't know. She does her own thing and me, I do my yeah. own thing. But you know what? What I think is cool is that mm. we get to work together, which yeah. is cool, doing what we love, which is apartment investing. And we truly get to help people, you know, be on a path to financial freedom. That's what, like, make, like, make me feel full. And I'm sure you feel the same way, too. Yeah, I think, like, from everything else that we've ever done, I feel like helping people achieve financial freedom via Fast. apartment investing is, is like our path. It's the thing that we were meant to be on this earth to do, actually. Yes. But I'm excited. We haven't <laughs> exercised in a long time, so we're going to be pretty winded, I think. <laughs> it's been at least six months, if not more. I think we've been trying to do this, but with the weather, with time and everything else, it's just like doing a whole bunch of other stuff. We weren't able to do it, but now we're going to get to do it now. And then after that, we're going to go have some Starbucks and food because I'm starving. You know, like if you think back to our growth in multifamily, it happens most of the time when there are fear in the market. Like if you think back in 2020. <laughs> yeah, when the war shut down. Yeah, so I mean, if you think about it, that's so true because like in 2019, mm -hmm. our first deal, we did like 6.9 yeah. in 27 months. We were able to return like, you know, 3.11x equity. And then in the t year of COVID, the beginning of the COVID, 2020, Right, yep. we closed a deal, yep. and that was when we did six point two two five. And twenty years, uh, twenty months later, not twenty years, <laughs> we were able to exit that deal. And but our true growth was twenty twenty one, where we yep. did like eighty million, and last year we did like a hundred something million dollars. Yeah, I think like the most important part is like you have to be true to your fundamentals. If the first, if you have to believe in the asset class for us, we believe multifamily is a superior mar um, asset class because of the strong demand. And it's like, it's one of those where you, it's almost like you, you can't fail because there's always a growing population, especially in the area that we're buying our apartments. So if you are careful with your underwriting and your market analysis, you really know that there's going to be strong demand. There's not enough houses in that area. We're going to be able to survive and actually thrive in those kind of situations when other people make like mass assumptions. Because you know the problem is most people listen to like CNBC and those talking heads, they get views when people, when they make scary predictions. So true. So it's not even based on really fundamentals because you know, like Jim Cramer, right? He's not right all the time. That Bobo the monkey is right <laughs> throwing. It's like some, did you hear about this now? So basically there was an experiment. They had this monkey, his name's Bobo, I think. And they taught him how to throw darts. So basically what they did was like, they put up some stocks and they threw darts at the stocks and he actually performed better than Jim Cramer. This is gonna take a long time to get to the we top. We haven't made it to the top. We haven't made it to the, <laughs> to the even the point to the top. Like this is not the halfway point, guys. This is like literally. 
<laughs> the this beginning. Is like, this is like after that two minute, and this is like the next half like mile, the, quarter the, mile. The next five minute. <laughs> We're having a long day. This is like long walk. You mean? This is lifestyle by design, of course. <laughs> it's like who needs to work right now? No, we need help first, right? So yeah. <laughs> That was brutal. <laughs> I thought it was in shape, but I'm not in. I thought it was in shape, but I'm not in like. Oh but I'm not in um, a hiking shape yet. <laughs> wow, that was tough. That was fun. But it was fun though. It's really like allows us to um, separate ourselves from the day to day activities. Basically, we get to have our epiphanies and jump to the next level instead of being like stuck in the grind of. What we I mean, we talk day. about the screen time and stuff, yeah. right? So it's so important to disconnect ourselves from, you know, all the electro electronic and yeah. just focus on being present and just enjoying life and just really breathe and, you know, have time to daydream and manifest because we believe that, you know, manifesting is going to help you achieve your goal faster. You right? know, like it's it, even the sun energy, just being outdoors, sometimes like we're so cooped up inside, we forget that actually it's such a beautiful day today. We wouldn't have even seen it. So I have a question. Yeah. What are we eating next? <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing, beyond anything else. We exercise so that we can eat, right? You know, we live to eat, don't we? Yeah. 